when you were at um, when you were at LAX Tech Recruit, you talked about streamlining with like I think it was five different tools that you use in this process, and some of your favorites that you like to use uh, for okay. your, your entire process. Shameless plug time. Go ahead. I have a book. In the back of the in this book is the sourcing life cycle, as well as a lot of the things we're talking about. In the very back is a list at the time when this book was published of my top tools. In every category of tool there is, $12.99 on Amazon, by the way. If between now and the end of March, 50 copies of my book get sold, I'm gonna release a URL that's gonna give every, several, three URLs that's gonna give everybody access to hundreds of tools, sites, and toys categorized that will pretty much make it to where if I, I should never hear a question about what tool can do this because they're all there. There are hundreds of hundreds of tools. There's over 800 custom search engines in one of these. There's over 600 search engines in another page. And then the, the final page that I'm working on still is going to have somewhere in the neighborhood of about a thousand sites, tools and stuff, all for recruiting and sourcing. So, but 50 copies got to be bought by then. That's only because it's taken me months to put all this together. Where can we buy your book and Amazon. mention the name because it's a podcast? Amazon. You can go to Amazon.com. It's the Book of Recruiting DaCosta Style, written by me, edited by Derek Zeller, who's another really, 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 really good person. Let me show what I'm talking about. What you're seeing right now, and just get a still shot and whatever, and add it, okay. is something called a start.me page which is basically nothing more than a um a web browser start page so basically now you open a web browser and there's a start page there well this particular thing allows you to um create your own and manipulate it. And what you see here is called dean's ssar which stands for staffing sourcing and recruiting and you've got roughly um somewhere in the neighborhood of close to a thousand different things here that you as a social recruiter would need. As an example, you have YouTube pages to follow. You have people to follow sites. You have social places to go to, to search social sites such as Periscope and Classmates and Vimeo. Then you have things like email finding and phone number finding tools, about a good 80 of them. Scraping tools, tools to scrape information off sites. Um, tools to find people and things, Chrome extensions to help make Chrome better and make your experience better. Searching, tools and sites to search for people, to search for resumes, whatever you want. Um, and, and, and LinkedIn specific tools, Facebook specific tools, tools to translate, so from, in, from one language to another. Cheat sheets about different things like um, different Boolean operating stuff. Um, ways to find phone numbers. Um, GitHub searches, security stuff, so you don't have to worry about getting a virus or anything while you're using these types of tools. Just so much, and I'm not done, just so much stuff here. Um, it, literally, this will be a one-stop shop. Everything you need to source will be here. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't some things not here. I'm sure there is. I'm not covering every single solitary thing out there, but you would be able to find almost everything you want here. There are ATS CRMs that are listed here. Not all of them that are out there, because Lord knows there's hundreds, but there's some of the ones that I like. Um, and there's actually a list to go where you can see all the ATS and CRMs out there. I chose not to add each one individually. Sites to go to create Boolean strings, to validate emails, to do literally anything you can imagine. is all sitting here in one location. And everything that's on there is all legitimate and good to go. And I will be maintaining it, which means I'll be testing, make sure the, the URLs are still good. If they're not, I'll get rid of them. If something new comes up, I'll add it. Uh, if somebody else finds something they want added, they can email to me and I'll check it out if it looks good and I'll add it. But you're looking at hundreds upon hundreds of tools. So there should be no more Facebook. Can you tell me what tool can help me find an email? Yeah, pick one of these 80 and go for it. You know what would be helpful on, okay, so I'm looking at your, uh, all your tools and I'm just thinking about my bookmarks page and this absolutely puts it to shame because I have like all these bookmarks and all these different topics and what have you. And, and, and so this must have taken you years to compile. You mean bookmarks like all, bookmarks like all those? I have over 600 bookmarks. Wow. 
So this but I, hard, book, I hardly use it anymore. I use this now. <laughs> if you had on here a map of, if you choose in this category, this applicant tracking system and coupled it with this tool and this tool, then like, like a process almost like a, you know, like a tech stack. If you have yep. recommended tech stacks, because oftentimes if you get one tool, then you don't need to use, uh, another, like if you got an ATS that had a CRM in it, you know, like the, you, you're seeing those like Lexo for, for example, then you won't need a separate CRM, you know? So, Just, so here's the deal. Number okay. one, your what you're asking for would take me forever. <laughs> the, 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 you did it on stage. Yeah, but you gotta understand, given the constant changing technology landscape is be tough but what you're asking for number one is in my book but besides being in my book if you go on here somewhere i believe there's a blogs section in that blog section is a link to my blog within my blog you'll see the sourcing life cycle and there's seven parts to it, the intro, one, two, three, five, six. Within each one, I rec give you my recommended tool. Okay. And the reason I won't do it more formally than that is because my recommended list of tools has changed and con constantly changes. Because, it has to. Well, as an example, just today, I had this one tool I liked that allowed me to scroll to the bottom of an infinite scroll thing. I could just keep pushing and it would scroll, which, which saved me about four seconds from having to use the little the little sidebar and pull it down and wait in the sidebar. Okay. I've since then found one that's automatic where I can actually just say push, go to the bottom, and it just does it for me. It just boom, 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 boom. And when I get to the bottom, it stops. If I get far enough, I want to stop, I can stop. I don't have to push any button. Mm -hmm. So just today, my tools have already changed. My 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 top top tools have already changed. I see. I do have a preferred stack uh, based on US, Canada and then international. And a lot of those are the same. And I've outlined them in a blog post on my blog, which you can find through this page. So it's there. And your blog I can't, post again being search authority. Well, no, in this case, you're looking at my, my no, that's my webpage. My blog is in recruiting blogs. Just look, go to oh, recruiting blogs and look at my name. Or you can go right here, like I said, on this page. And now I'm gonna tell you a little secret. You might, there's a lot here. You know how I do it? I do a control F and then I look up the word blog. And I just keep there. All the blogs are right here. They're at the bottom. So that made it simple. I found all the blogs right here. See this? Blogs to follow. And this one right here says Pro recruiting blogs, Dean DaCosta. Mm -hmm. I open it, search, and I can get everything I need. Recruitingblogs.com, Dean DaCosta. Um, no, it's recruitingblogs.com slash profile slash Dean DaCosta. Okay. Is what it says here. And that gets you to my page. Um, oh, so God, you were going to release that URL with all that information. You're saying well, it's not when you sell 50 books? Between now, well, yesterday and the end of March. But it's not just this one. And this is why it's important you guys realize it's not just this one. Yeah. I'm also going to be releasing this one, which has got over 800 custom search engines ready to go that can search literally anything and anywhere. I think it's 800, it might be 600. I had 1800 at one time, but there was a lot of redundancies and ones that didn't work anymore. So I cleaned it up and these are mostly categorized. So like, here's one that'll let you x-ray into LinkedIn, but you, the one down here that says with refinements, you can x-ray into LinkedIn and you can do it based by gender, based by location, based by user experience, based by college, without being in LinkedIn. And I'm also gonna be releasing the um, search engine utopia, which has got hundreds of them, but that's only if I sell 50 books. Why? You know what? The real reason why it's 50 books, truth be told, because I don't make much on the books anyway. Whatever little bit I make, I usually end up buying something for my granddaughter with. Um, it's just because I know people really want it. I don't want to release it and maintain it and spend all my time if people don't really want it. So I figure if 50 people buy the book knowing that this is what's coming, then that tells me there's 50 people out there that want it and that's enough for me. That's the real reason. Not because of anything else, just because I can't. I spent a lot of time putting this CSE. I've been working on this CSE one since September. And I only just got done with it two weeks ago. This SSAR one I've been working on since November, and I should have it done by the end of this month. Now, 
the the search engine one only took me a month to put together, so that was the easy one. And this is basically what it is. I'm I'm going through it right now. This one didn't take me as long because it was simple. And as you can see, there's hundreds of search engines all over. And there might be some redundancies. Search engines that can do multiple different things, so I put them into two categories. Um, I have another one which is an OSID page, but I'm not going to release that until. I'm not going to release that until after I do my book so that recruiters understand what OSIN is and what they should do, what they shouldn't do. Otherwise, it'd be kind of like, it'd be kind of like giving a guy in the old West with the six shooters access to a M16 rifle. Yeah. Not smart. So I'm being smarter about that. That ain't going to get released until I think I've got enough info out there to educate recruiters on it and on what it can do. So that people get. I also have two YouTube pages explaining Start Me pages and how to use them and what to do with them that I'll be putting up before I even release it. So I'll put them up, say, hey, the YouTube pages are here. Seven days from now, it's going to get released. I'm going to release the pages because that'll give people time to understand the Start Me pages and what to do. Because with the Start Me page, you have choices. Uh -huh. Once I share it, you can either copy it or you can favorite it. If you copy it, you're going to get a copy of the page. You're going to be able to delete things, add things, change things, do whatever you want. The problem is, you won't get the updates I make. If you favor it, you can use all the stuff, but you can't delete things or add things, but you'll get any updates I make. So if I add tools or take away tools, you'll get them. So that's why it's important you decide which way you want to go. Mm -hmm. I actually, interestingly enough, some of these pages up here are not mine. They're other people's that I like. I actually was smart. I created one version of this under one email address that was all me making copies of pages and then my own pages. And then I made another under another email, which was me favoring those same pages I copied. So I get both. I get the change in the face, plus I get my own. And the reason I did that is because, and interestingly enough, one of these pages I copied ended up being deleted. So had I not copied it, I wouldn't have gotten it all. I would have lost it. So by copying it, I get to keep it. Um, I'm not going to be deleting my page. So once you've got it, you're going to have it until I'm no longer of this earth and therefore I can't update it. Um, but we got okay. a long way to go before that happens. And you're imparting your knowledge. I mean, you're offering your knowledge, and that's what everybody is coming to you for. They they look to you as an expert in sourcing, and you have a lot of techniques. You have a lot of tools that you use, and it's like you said, it's almost exhausting how much time that you are asked, how many times you're asked to, what are your favorite Chrome extensions? What are your favorite tools? What are these? So you put it all down.